we just had a bunch of flying fish come out fly <laughs> through the boat when there I've never seen flying fish before but this is amazing If you enjoy our videos, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our future content. Good morning. So today we woke up a little early, around 5ish, and we're on our way to Dauphin Island. It was about 45 minutes from Mobile, Alabama, downtown. So we're going fishing today with Captain Sammy. So we're super pumped about that. Hopefully we catch something. Fingers crossed. We did some research, we looked online, and Captain Sammy is supposed to be one of the best ones on Dauphin Island, and we are so excited because we were able to book with him. Catch, Ron. A snapper, but the snapper <laughs> season starts 27th of May, so we're yeah. not there yet. Not there yet. This is a big one. <laughs> we have caught four of these things out today. We've caught so many of these and a ton of red snapper, but we can't keep those guys. But these are going to be dinner. <laughs> can't keep them, but here they are. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. All right, so we just finished fishing with Show and Tell Charters and Captain Sammy, and this was such an amazing experience. We caught so many fish, it was, it was awesome. He put us right on top of the fish. If you come to Dolphin Island, you definitely should book with Show and Tell Charters, and we'll have all their information below, and you can find their phone number and their website. They're great people. Captain Sammy took care of us, and his son was actually working on the boat also, and another guy named Gary. And they were really entertaining. They were fun. They took all the fish off for us. They baited our hooks, took care of everything. Yeah. That is the best thing because I don't like to put the bait <laughs> on the hook and they did everything. So some of it felt like cheating because they would literally catch the fish and be like, here you go. But yeah. it was it was great. We were catching fish like left and right. It was It was crazy. Another really cool thing about this fishing trip with Captain Sammy is he comes back, he cleans the fish for you and you can bring them into this restaurant right beside the pier that he takes off from called Dockside and they will cook the fish for you and if you catch trigger fish I've heard that you have to have them black and that's the best way so we're gonna go check it out. We got a fish so I got blackened tacos and we got blackened fish. Look at that. All right so we just finished eating at Dockside Seafood Restaurant and the food was delicious. The staff inside this place are so cool man it's like a little tiny island and it's got a small town feel, kind of like everybody knows everybody. The people in this place are really cool. So if you come here, definitely check out Dockside. And there's also a Pelican pub above it. So if you want to go have a drink afterwards, maybe you can go up there. But now 
We heard there's an estuarium here, I'm probably saying that right, where you can actually interact with some of the marine life, and we're gonna go check that out next. Next stop for us was the Dolphin Island Sea Lab, which is the fourth largest estuarium in the United States. It's $12 for adults and $6 for students and children. It has a massive exhibit hall and a 7,000 gallon Stingray touch pool, and it's fun for the whole family if you wanna get out of the sun for a little bit. finished visiting the Dolphin Island Sea Lab, which is kind of like an aquarium, but it's not just for kids. Even adults can enjoy it. I mean, we enjoyed it. It's actually called an estuarium, according to uh, Google Maps. I couldn't say it. That's why I didn't even try. <laughs> I've been but, butchering that word. But this place was really, really cool. You get to go in, you can pet stingrays. They actually have a bonnethead shark swimming around the same tank where you pet stingrays. And uh, they have a lot of exhibits where you can just go around and learn about the history and some of the marine wildlife here in the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah, so we purchased the tickets when we got here. It was about $12 per person. That's right. And the whole thing took about, you know, you can, you can do the whole thing in an hour or you can stay as long as you like. And I'm not sure if you can see it behind us or not, but behind us is the historic Fort Gaines and that is gonna be our next stop here on Dolphin Island. So we went fishing this morning, caught fish, went to a restaurant next door to the boat and had Ate them fish. cooked. <laughs> yeah, and then we came to an aquarium <laughs> to look at fish. Now we're gonna go visit a little piece of history. So we just left Fort Gaines, which is a really cool place to come see. It's a piece of history. You can walk around. It's actually very nice. And it's got a couple little shops in there and a museum. But now we are at an archeological site called the Native American Shell Mounds. And this was a place used by Native Americans. They would come catch fish, collect oysters, roast them. They would eat here and they used this place for centuries. And we haven't been back there yet, but apparently there's still supposed to be some of the remnants of where they would put their refuse and the old shells and they're still here today so this is going to be pretty cool. So we did the 
Shell Mound Trail. Um, it is a little underwhelming. Uh, we thought, well, I thought it was probably like a structure made yeah. of rocks or bricks. I don't know what I was thinking, but it's basically where the Native Americans, it's their, like I was telling you, it's like seafood kitchen. They would just cook their oysters, fish, and that's all it is, and the mound's made of that. Yeah, the mounds today just look like hills, honestly. like. I would have no idea those were shell mounds. Like when you're walking, you walk over the hills and you realize like, oh, these are the shell mounds. But anyway, it has been a very long day and we are in desperate need of some coffee. So we're going to try to find a coffee shop nearby and um, magnet. got to get a magnet and then we're going to get some food and we're going to try to watch sunset on one of the beaches. And then we're going to head back to Mobile and take a much needed shower. <laughs> well. The search for coffee wasn't successful, so we're going for the next best thing, a drink. So for drinks and dinner, we went to Pirates Bar and Grill. Pirates Bar and Grill has pool, cabana, as well as beach access. Mark had some fried shrimp and onion rings, and I had Thai chili shrimp. With that, we had some delicious pina colada, actually the best we've ever had. Dolphin Island. We are ending our video right where we started this morning <laughs> at the dock where we took our fishing charter trip and it has been an absolutely wonderful day. Yeah so we came back to the place where we took off this morning to go on our fishing charter and we ran into none other than Captain Sammy and Gary. We hung out for a couple hours had a great time. This guy is such a nice dude and if you come here we seriously can't say enough about him. Like his fishing charter, the whole experience was great. Dolphin Island in general has a lot more to do than either of us thought. So we could see spending two or three days here. I mean, it's beautiful beaches. God, the beaches around here are gorgeous. So if you're gonna come to Mobile, Alabama, do yourself a favor, at least come to Dolphin Island for like a day, maybe two or three days if you want to. Book a fishing charter, go try some of the restaurants, see the beautiful beaches. But that's gonna be it for Dolphin Island. We're headed back to Mobile, Alabama, and we have to explore that a little more tomorrow. So that's gonna be it from Dolphin Island.